everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So, yeah, we got our mechs repaired with the exception of the HAL 9000, which is still um, in uh, repair right now. But I want to jump into another mission before we finish this guy off. It's going to take a little while to fix him. I'm going to put an arm back on him and a medium laser. So, uh, But we did get our Risk um, Irby ready to go. So let's have a quick look at him again. So the Risk Irby has got... ER medium laser, small, um, the RE medium laser, which is a plus 30% damage mod on this thing. Um, so it does more damage to armor, but less damage to structure. So we got that guy up, and we got an ER medium laser on this, as well as the um, improved ammo and the MRM 10. So this MRM ammo is 200 shots, so we've got uh, 20 rounds of firing with the MRM. So that's actually not too bad. And everything else we left the same. I want to, I got to rethink these loadouts now that we're going to be down to four guys. So I'm probably going to be pulling either the Piranha or the Mongoose out of service, or the Hell 9000 it is, uh, and the Urban Mech. Um, we're going to re-look at the loadout. Like I might pull the ER medium off of this and move it into the Kit Fox, take the ER large off this guy, um, and run with four ER mediums and maybe something else. I don't know. Uh, the Firefly, once again, I'm thinking about pulling the LRM off and putting a large laser on. Now, I did toy around with putting the ATM-6 in here, plus two medium pulses. Uh, we could also squeak a small laser in, like an ER small laser, and um, uh, we could max out the armor um, if we go that route, which I think is, you know, I don't know. It sounds a little bit underpowered. I'm not 100% sure that's the way to go. Um, but, you know, we do have an ECM on this thing, and it is relatively fast. So we can get in quick with uh, with the uh, ATMs. And we do have uh, regular ATM ammo as well. So we could put regular ammo in and the uh, HE ammo so we can shoot from a distance and shoot with uh, heavier firepower when we're in close. That'll give us 20 turns of ATM fire as well. So that's good. So we might go that route with this guy. Um, and then we'll leave the uh, Urban Mech. Well, I don't know what we'll do with this guy. I might turn it into uh, the LRM-15 platform. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not convinced that that's the best way to go. Um, but we'll see how it goes. But right now, we're going to get into battle with these guys. So let's go to contracts and have a look at what we've got. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the barracks because I think we have some XP to spend for our pilots here. Yeah, so our main guy, uh, we have some XP to spend. I'm going to put it right into gunnery. The, inc the uh, range increase in the base of weapon hit is uh, really good, especially when we're using uh, shorter range weapons. Uh, Helion's still okay. Gundal has got some XP. Let's drop it into gunnery. Can't be a Gundal with bad gunnery. Uh, Goofy, um, we want to go with pilot or health. Let's go piloting first to get the unsteady threshold up. And Dallas is still good. Okay, so now we can look at the contracts. Now, I said I was going to take a clan wolf contract. I want to get back into uh, favor with wolf because we just pulled a mission against them. So it's either going to be Vanguard, um, where we take on a facility and hold the base um, until a logistic team arrives, or we go after this one, which is more sea build outlay but less salvage, but it's against heavily armored vehicles. But you know what? Let's take the challenge. Let's go against this one. Um, we might as well. And we'll get, what, what, we'll get, what, two rep with this? Eh, 190,000 payout. That's fine. That would be more than, more than enough to cover our drop costs. And let's give Goofy the Urban Mech Risk. And I think we'll run this way. Let's go. Alrighty. There should be a Lance of Mechs here as well. Uh, there's the mechs. Is that a hunchback? Looks like it. Hunchback. I have no idea what that is. Firestarter probably and something or other. They're supposed to be pirates, so... Um, those are the mechs. I guess the vehicles are up here? Uh, okay. Let's try and play this one a little smarter. Let's move over this way. So I am recording this episode back to back with the last one. Um, what's our jump on this guy? Not very far, but enough to jump down from a hill if we need to. 
Let's move over here. I'll be there before you know. I'm interested to see how this MRM 10 improved goes. All right. Yeah, so like I said, I was recording this one back to back with the other episodes. So the comments about um, whether or not you're liking me switching back to the small maps uh, won't be um, answered until uh, yeah. probably after this episode. I might record one more tonight. We'll see how it goes. It is the middle of the week, so I'm not really sure if I'll be able to get another one recorded tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it better. The gameplay is quicker. Uh, less complications. More identification on the map as to what's going on. So I'm going to take this one safe. I'm not going to go and... Uh, aggro anything up on the hill. Let's get down into here. Yeah, I think we need to pull the large laser off this Firefly. And if we're going to go with the medium pulses, then the ATM-6 rather than the LRM-15 for sure. Thinking about, I don't know, the uh, Streak 4, I might pull off this mech and put a laser or two in. Haven't decided yet. It's really heat efficient. It's a brigand. Right here. Mm -hmm. A brigand. And this one, it runs hot. I like the firepower of this, but maybe it's like putting another ER medium on and then an LRM system or something. I don't know. Enemy detected. I've got eyes on yeah. Oh, there's... They're heading your way. Uh, that's another... I thought we were supposed to be facing... Uh, okay. This could be bad. Let's see if we can get a first uh, first kill in here on this guy. What do we got here? A Hollander, fire starter, a hunchback. Really? This could go very badly for us. This could go very badly. What the hell does this guy have on him? Damage minimal. Huh. Okay, well, this should be fun. Huh, running, huh? Yes, Commander. Confirm. Okay. Oof. Really bad chances to hit. Looks like it's you then. Okay, target acquired. Some half decent damage on him. We're going to have to pull them into uh, a kill zone here. The hell are you running? Damage minimal. I'm receiving you. Can't get quite in there enough. All right. 6.2, 2.6. Let's just pause. So it looks like a couple of stingers. As long as these guys are lighter mechs. Okay, two stingers, it's not too bad. Could be worse. Alright, well, let's put some shots on this guy. And miss all of them. Started a fire back here though, it looks like.
Let's hope it's only two stingers. Wouldn't that be nice? Bet you it's not, though. Oh, it's the laser back. Because of course it is. Oh, okay. How brawly do I want to be? So, Flamers LB10X cluster. Friggin' Rack 10, really? Caseless ammo. This guy's gotta go. AC 10. Two X pulses and fire fist. This guy's gotta go down too. 25 tons. Man, they all gotta die. Ah. Well, let's make sure we're not clustered. Gonna leave that off for this this shot. Yes, Commander. Okay, a couple hits, not bad. Commander. Commander. Nope. Oh, can't be in the open. Yee. Yeah, okay, well, still best on this guy, so let's take the shots. Here goes. I don't know, guys. Want to see if they'll keep pushing us. Maybe they will. He just sat there, huh? It's only going to be six damage, but good chances to hit, so we'll take it. Interesting. So let's hope one of them moves forward. Okay, Hollander. Well, that nuts. Yeah, don't say things like that. Man. I don't know. How well is the, uh... If we can get them to come in just a little more, we can get behind them. I think the Hunchback's got lousy back armor. I'm not sure what the Hollander's all about. This guy's dropped a little bit. You have order? Let's get you over here. And we're back up again. Let's use this fire starter and blast them. I understand. Okay, head hit.
He's getting a little stressed over there. Shit. Better miss. Oh, thank God. Jesus. What has he got? I know he's got fire fist, but oh, missile, whatever. Who's this guy now? A Hollander. I took a hit to my inner. Kick you right in the friggin' head. Um. Standing by. Interesting. Another melee attack, eh? Well, I want to brawl. Quick it. Let's give him a little bit of a brawl. Let's hope our missiles don't miss here. Oh, geez, lousy chance to hit. We can do more damage on the Hollander. So let's take it. Fire it. This is exactly what I didn't want. They didn't think they'd all move into melee though. It's a little bit crazy. But then again, you know, they are friggin' uh, pirates, so... Yep. Let's hope one of their weapons blows up. Okay, you're just going to sit there, are you? Ah... Uh, We've almost got no head armor left, really. Could go after the Hollander. Uh, we're going to lose our uh, stability if we do that. Oh, man. Let's hope for the best. It's going to cool us off. Now, 33, it's the same. Little too hot. Well, two hits, nice. We may need to bail out of this one. 64%, eh? 57. Well, hunchback in the back. Maybe we can yank this guy down. Oh yeah. Fire it all. We mostly hit our own guy. Armor breach. Internal damage. Wow. 
how is that even okay I know we were in the way but it's like we're more accurate our, on our own guy yeah we got a bail this is ridiculous how is this one skull Give him somebody else to worry about over here. <sighs> Armor's about falling off right there. Well, Wolf ain't gonna like us too much when we try to bail out of here. Dallas is drunk. 31, 20. One point left on the front. What's the plan? Plan is to withdraw. Four rounds. All right, let's hope we do some good damage. Good to go. Christ, we missed with all the lasers. Really? Oh. It's putting them into an awful position, though. Like, there's no real way this where this guy can go that he's not going to get shot in the back next turn unless he runs away. Like that guy. Is that another stinger back here? Oh, Urban Mech. I'm receiving you. Eesh. I think we need to be in the trees. That's the left side facing the fire starter. Order acknowledged. Could be a bad place to go, but I don't know what else to do at this point. All right. Is he panicking? Probably. Nope. Well, there goes my leg. This Hollander now is the dangerous one with the Rack 10. Alright, let's hope we get some good damage on him. Okay, we penetrated anyway. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I know I'm offering mop my back to these guys, but there's not much else I can do about it. I'm trying to rattle the Hollander a little bit. She's going last. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. Well, that's okay. No, it's not. Fuck. Pardon my French.
All right, let's blast this guy again. Sure is. It's not going to save us, though. Can't take much more of that. Yeah, I guess we dropped down to half a skull again. Yeah, really hope Helion didn't die. That would be bad. The Kid Fox was really valuable too though, so I hope we didn't lose it. I mean, I guess if we had gone up to the mountain first and dealt with the Stingers and the Urban Mech, but they're not really doing anything to us at this point, so it's not like taking them on first would have made any difference. I'm here. But maybe we would have had the high ground, maybe that would have made a huge amount of difference, I don't know. Okay, that's turning the right side, which is what we want to do. A little more unstable than I want to be, but we got to make sure our side's turned. Okay, nice. Okay. How, where is this guy damaged? Mostly on this side. Pretty heavily damaged on this side. So if we do a jump over to... What's our stability here? Pretty darn good. Could go after his backside too. Like the Hollander still got tons of armor. Oh, his CT back doesn't though. do this. Enjoy it, buddy. Nice! If we can kill this fire starter, then we'll get some pretty good faith, uh... We'll get some pretty good faith, um... Salvage from the, from, uh, Clan Wolf. Ooh, let's get right in on this guy. We'll get our stability back. Nice. And let's blast him. Straight up blast him. Nice. We're going to keep the uh, Firefly out of the battle here. It's too heavily damaged to move in. Torso's almost gone. Okay, we got to keep the left side turned away. Yes, Commander. Acknowledge. Yeah, God. Can shoot my own guy in the back here. That's how we got in the situation we're in right now, so let's not do that. Alright, that's the Irby. He's mostly damaged on this side, so let's get over here. 
and hammer this side up. Okay, there goes the arm. Still got that auto cannon though. I think the auto cannon's right here. No, where is it? Don't know. Yeah, man. I know. We're in rough ground. But the chances to hit. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Hopefully, we're not choosing our own mech as salvage. All right, now all you got to do is not get killed. Now you hit with really low chances to hit. Really? Oh, I see. Okay, so we can either stick it out. Well, that makes more sense. Well, we're going to stick it out because, you know, I wasn't expecting us to do so well here. Hope that urban mech doesn't uh, take its toll on us here. All right, firing on the stinger. Stringer. The stinger. He no like streaks. Reporting. Let's finish up the stinger, please. Alright, we'll leave the small laser off. Save a little bit of heat and fire. Alright, let's get him with some LRMs, maybe knock him over. Left torso, leg, arm. Knock down. Periphery rifle, two light rifles. All right, let's take this stinger out. He's like right here. Reporting. Critical hit. Mm. Let's see if we can burrow through his side here. Ah, it's the wrong side, but whatever. Oh, not quite enough. Spreading that damage around, because we're good like that. Let's hope it's just this urban mech here. We'll know in a second, once this stinger goes down, we'll know how many mechs they've got. Alright Dallas, finish them up. Don't worry about moving. There we go. Oh, they got two more up there, one more up there somewhere. Don't know if it's an urban mech or what what they've got, but they've got something. Just move a little bit here. So I think after this mission, we're going to jump systems. Because we got a lot of repairing to do. And I want to change the configuration on some of these mechs. That's a front shot. Let's see if we can get on the side of this guy. Oh, we can. I think all his ordnance is in the one shoulder. Or the one arm here. 
pretty sure it's like loaded up here. Um, yeah, two light rifles are on this side. Anyway, let's hammer them. Let's not worry about that stinger for now. Let's get in the trees. Superior ablat of armor. All right, side shots. There we go. Enemy mech destroyed. Waiting for orders. All weapons are good. See ya. Enemy eliminated. Wasn't expecting that, but we'll take it. Uh, you know what? The last idiot's stuck. I have no idea what it is either. But usually one mech gets stuck right here. Yeah, there he is. That's an urban mech. Great. The problem with that though is unless you have really long range weapons and they're and they have short range weapons, there's a good chance that they'll uh, be able to fire back. Let's get our LRMs into play here if we can. Stay behind these rocks so he can't see us. As close as we possibly can. Hopefully we get within LRM distance before he's dead. Make it worth our while. All right. We can blow his side off with this. He's got a lot of stuff on here. Almost. Yes, Commander. God, he's gonna shoot me in the back, isn't he? Yes, Commander. Please don't shoot me in the back. You got great chances to hit. Don't hit me. The is nice. Oh, you're close enough for the LRMs. Not a good chance to hit, but we'll take it. It is. Alright, well. Let's hope we kill him. There we go. There it is, folks. Enemy mech destroyed. Mission successful. All right, contract premium increased by 30%. I'm kind of glad we stuck it out. Yeah. 30 days out. At least she didn't die. Now the question is, did we lose the mech? It's a lot of stuff to lose if we lost it. Oh. Uh. Don't see it here anywhere. Okay, good. Now, Hollander parts. That's going to make this whole thing worth it. Chaff countermeasures, ER medium, flamer double plus. Really? What's the difference? 10 damage, 10 heat, 7 damage, 8 heat, but more accuracy. Huh. Weird. Medium X pulse. 45 damage? Would have a refire penalty. Rack 10 pirate. Armored Cowl, uh, what else do we got? Case 2, Cockpit, Comm Suite, plus 3 Resolve, 
fire control system ballistic minus one recoil gunnery support plus one XL gyro. We're going to need something for the Hollander. Heavy Faro. Pirate fire control system. Plus one accuracy. Breaching shot when firing a single weapon. Plus one accuracy with range weapons. One invasion pip ignored. Plus one recoil with ranged weapons. 10% weapon heat generated. <laughs> okay. Bit of a trade off. Prototype double heat sinks. Got to start stockpiling those at some point. Uh, LBX ammo, rack 10 caseless ammo. Well, if we're not going to be able to get any ammo, I'd almost want the plus one gunnery. Gonna throw it there for now. This is nice too, if we have ballistic weapons. We're not running ballistics right now, so don't think we really need it for above anything else. Beagle active probe, uh, or just an active probe, sorry. I think the plus one gunnery is a little better. I think that's what we go with. And see what we get here. Let's roll the dice. Alright, we got another Hollander part. That's nice. Hunchback part and a brigand part. Chaff countermeasures. 0.25, eh? Three salvos. Okay, it's not too bad for, for a quarter ton. Medium laser, flamer. Wow, a bunch of garbage. LBX ammo. And a machine gun. Oh boy. Alright, let's have a look what we got here. Wow. Okay. the Kid Fox. That's the Kid Fox. Alright, manage our tasks a bit. Dallas is going to be out for a while. Where's the Kid Fox? Nine days only, eh? Let's get that up first. Uh, the Firefly needs a little bit of work. Let's get that up. Herbie and Jenner and HAL 9000. Okay. So, I think let's go to the bays here. Uh, I'm going to bring the Piranha out of service for now. Because I want to bring the Hollander up and get that refit. So uh, let's do this. Um, and let's go to Storage. And where is our Hollander here? Right there. Let's ready this guy. See what he's got on him. Take three parts from Storage, you got it. F5 variant. Alright. Um... But you see what he's got on it doesn't got much on it, does it? Doesn't got much. Nope. <laughs> wow. That's a whole lot of nothing. Uh, well, at least it's got the engine and the light engine and the XL gyro still in it. Endo steel can be repaired. So it's, I mean, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Oh, the Rack 10 is still there, too. Radical, radical prototype double heatsink kit. Uh, 250 core, which means we don't need any uh, extra heatsinks. So, minus 15% weapon heat generated, plus 15 maximum heat, minus 10 heat per turn. That looks pretty cool. It's a super cooler. <laughs> Radical prototype double heat sink kit. Super cooler. Alright. <laughs> We're going to use that for sure. Now, uh, let's max out the armor first before we do anything. And let's pull the rack 10 off. Because we don't have any ammo for it. But what do we got here? We got one. We got two ballistic, three laser, and one missile hard point. Plus some support points here. Um... Ah, I gotta think about what we're gonna do with this here. Let's see what we got laser wise. Medium pulse lasers. Like what do we want? <sighs> I gotta think about what role this guy's gonna play. Is it gonna be long range fire support? Like ballistic wise, we don't have much, right? 
We got the LB10X. Now, do we have? I don't know if we. I don't even think we have ammo for the LB10X. We don't even have uh, ammo. Uh, okay, let's just confirm this. It's going to be 16 days, 270,000. So let's think about that while we got time. Uh, and let's put you. I want to get you back sooner rather than later. Same as the Kid Fox. So let's bring you up to the top, like this. So we're gonna run with. Hmm. Definitely the, well, I'm going to pull the HAL 9000 out of service once it's repaired. So let's do this to minimize cost. Let's get the HAL 9000 done and out of the way with. Um, so let's close that. Yeah, I'm going to have to think about this. Um, we're going to jump systems. How many days do we have left? 21 days before the financial report. Now, what was it to go? I'm interested to see what the star map looks like now, too. Uh, Tortuga's still making their way into clan space, but looks like Jade Falcon's doing some fighting here. Ghost Bear. Yeah, okay, not bad. Um, so, how long was it to get here? 24 days, so we'd have to stay here. Not to stay here and take a low level mission, I think. So let's figure out how we can do that. Um, HAL 9000. Oof. Okay, let's wait one day. And go to the mech base here. See what the HAL 9000 needs work on. Uh, we need a double heatsink for it. The XL engine's damaged. What is it to repair this thing? A couple of grand in a couple of days. So, do we have a regular double heatsink? We do. And a medium laser is all we need. Which we have right so it's only four grand in four days so let's put this guy back together for now I wonder what it would take to switch these now let's leave with them with mediums I was gonna say if we pull two mediums out and put pulse lasers in but at this point I think it's fine the way it is So what, let's take a look at our tasks again here. Now we got 21 days, so how are we going to efficiently get everything repaired? Because this is 9, 14, 15, 16, 17, 21 days. So we'd have to leave the Hollander out until we jump then, I guess. Because by, when this comes back, we're going to have to, it still needs to be, we still need to put weapons on it. So I think we worry about that after. Let's put this down here for now and see what we can do here. So we need to get working mechs as fast as we can. So if we do, let's bring this down. We're gonna go like so. So we'll, be, we'll have these four mechs back in six days. And then we'll be able to fight again. So let's just quickly do that. Okay. Uh, God, we give everyone a bonus. <sighs> Gonna go this route. Plus two pack tech points, plus two medical points. Morale increased by 10. This is going to help us out a tremendous amount. Okay, cool. So it's going to bring helium back sooner. Uh, the mechs will get fixed a little sooner. Um, yeah. Hopefully we can pull off two more missions here before... Uh, yeah. 
think we can probably pull off two more. Now, is there one we can pull off today real quick? That are alive. Um, yeah, you know what? We can probably do this, do this one real quick. So let's go. Let's go ahead and negotiate this full salvage. Uh, we're not going to be able to cover our drop costs on this, but I don't care at this point. We're looking for GAC. So let's move up the. Oh, geez, we're down like tons of like our pilots and stuff here too, right? Um, sorry, I want to go to uh, hiring hall. I don't think there's anybody here that we wanted, right? Slingshot, Duck Duck Goose, um, Honest Noble Merchant, Shoe. It's Doc and Shoe. Um, sorry, it's a reference to uh, Avatar, and not the James Cameron film, the actual anime. Um, Reduced XP gain from combat. Oh boy, how else are you going to get XP here? Um, Lark, Mercenary Recruit. Small bonus to starting XP. 20% reduced, reduced injury time. But once again, he's got that uh, Juggernaut, Kong. It's Kong. Merchant Ship Crew. Reduced injury times and discount to buying stuff at shops. Tactic 7, Comstar Alkalite, plus one mech tech skill, decreased cost for Argo upgrade. I wonder if that stacks. 33 a month, starting with Tactic 7. I think this guy's too good to pass up. So I wonder if these both stacks will be plus two to mech tech skill. What do we have right now? 18. Let's check it out. 33 grand. Oh, sorry, 58. But he's 33 a month. Let's accept that. It does stacks. We've got 20 now. That's cool. That is cool. All right, let's do this. Hope this doesn't end up being a really long fight, but we'll see. All right. Uh, so let's move the Firefly up one, Urban Mac up one. Goofy's more familiar with the HAL 9000, so we'll give it to him. Gundal we'll put in the Firefly, and Duck, you get to pilot the, pilot the Urban Mac. Actually, you know what? Duck gets to go in the HAL, uh, HAL 9000. Goofy and the Urban Mac, kind of, <laughs> the name and the Urban Mac kind of sounds like uh, the best matching. So we'll put Duck in the HAL 9000. Actually, I should change this guy's name to Dave. But let's do this. Yeah, we know. So I just learned a very, very important thing. I think everyone here needs to know. Um, it is. Um, so uh, this is something I did not know. And I've tried it multiple times and I couldn't figure out why it didn't work. But I realize now what the issue is. Um, apparently st uh, stealth armor cannot be multi-targeted. I'll let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> that was one of the uh, comments in the uh, upper right there. Or sorry, upper left. <laughs> Once again, direction of dyslexic. In the upper left, <laughs> when we were loading in, it's like stealth armor cannot be multi-targeted. And I'm like, damn it. But I'm getting two sensor traces. Can I lock them both? I can, I can multi-target. Why can't I shoot it one at each one? They should actually have that. If you have multi-target, you use it against the single target, and it, and it for each each uh, target that you are uh, each of the uh, targeting, you lose one off the uh, stealth ability. All right. Um, Receiving you. Let's get to a point where that guy hopefully can't see us, but we can see him. All right. Oh Christ, what is this guy? Three energy. Yes, Commander. Printing. 
I have no idea what that guy is going to be able capable of. So let's hope he doesn't blast us out <laughs> with one shot here. All right, we're just going to fire. I should have just gone all sea bills. If I knew it was this map, we could have gone to all sea bills. Just killed this guy and got the hell out of here. Fifty-one percent, not bad. Target damage. Concentrate your fire. Bring it down. Waiting for orders. Full speed ahead. Ha! <laughs> full speed. Firing full complement on enemy. Yeah, four points. Nice. Where are you going, chicken? What's up, boss? Moving out. All right, duck. Let's get some side shots on this boy. Tag him up, please. Hey, tag him up. Giving him everything I've got. Enemy detected. A uh, locust. Huh, interesting. Engaging jump jets. Hammer him. Looks like he's got a fair amount of armor. Who who's that? that Looks like a large laser or something to me. Wolfhound, okay. Wolfie. I may want to think my uh, missile choices here. Or sorry, rethink them. I'll be there before you know it. I don't have to worry about uh, hitting my own guys a lot. Alright, just fire on this guy. Yeah, four points. Four points is four points, man. You know what I'm saying? Panther, okay. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've just faced like normal mechs like this. Let's, move. Let's do this. Oh yeah, man. What's up, buddy? Can I show you something? Can I interest you in some streak missiles? He's not really appreciating my gift, you know what I'm saying? I come all the way over here to give this to you and you don't want it? Yeah, we lost some good stuff too. But you know what? I think we can put together this urban. I think we still have a couple of urban mech parts, which means if we get a part off this guy, we can put together this mech and see what it looks like. Maybe we get those PPC fion, fions or whatever they're called, F ions. Oh yeah, sorry. I <laughs> I keep calling um, Hellion Helion. And I apologize who it was. I don't know who it was that corrected me. Uh, I'm going to try and make sure <laughs> I call her Hellion from now on. Um, but I don't know why I go with Helion. I apologize. <laughs> I did say I was going to try and correct that. So I will do my best to to, uh, to try and correct that. Thank you for the, for the uh, corrections on the pronunciation. Never good at never been never good at uh, um, doing proper pronunciation for a lot of words. No joy. No joy. Ow.
You're just making me stay here want to stay here and kill all of you. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's take this guy down. Oh, he's not going to let me kill him from that side, is he? But we most certainly can shoot him in the back side, you know what I'm saying? What's up, you? Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Well, you got no weapons left. Okay, we're going to leave Duck to take care of this guy. See how he does. It's leg shots, buddy. Leg shots all the way. Ready for orders. Leg shots, buddy. Leg shots. That's all we want. You get all of our offensive pushes. Alright, a couple of hits. Ah, core critical though. Scored a critical hit. Yeah, I see that. Um uh, Hmm. A little better on the Panther, eh? Five T. Ballistic and energy. Fire and all Normally they got like what a large laser and an SRM six or a PPC SRM six. You have order? I do, buddy. You know me, I've always got orders. Just a bossy guy. Let's hammer him. You should have never come. There's the knockdown for you. Have a seat. It's sure different than fighting that last match, that's for sure. God, we got pasted by those pirates, man. I think we got totally lucky, too. Taking down that hunchback and the Hollander like we did, we got so lucky. Alright, what are they doing? Urban Stick, Panther. Now, their Wolfhound's already gone, right? I don't have to worry about him, I don't think. What has this guy got on him? Oh, it's the periphery rifle and something or other. Flamer. Okay, now... They go on 19. We go on 17. Uh, he's going to melee. You're crazy, buddy. Still a firepower on this thing? You're crazy. All that for that, huh? Infiltrator. Full throttle. I'm on fire. And I don't mean fighting well. Don't waste our all our offensive pushes. Ah, oh, friggin' just shoot this guy. Get rid of him for me. Roger. Oh my god. What's the plan? I understand. Back it up. Back it up. Not enough of one, though. Not enough of one. Let's see what that wolfhound does. We're going to get Gundel to shoot that panther. Before he gets a chance to move. Oh, he's running. He's running away. I don't blame you, buddy. Make a break for it. 
Live to fight another day. No problem. Pick up a little fire as you move up here. Blast this guy. Ouch. Minus 8 initiative, plus 10 heat. You still fighting? You still fighting? Still fighting. I'll give him that. You keep it up, buddy. Yes, Commander. We jump up the hill. We can. Here we go. Cause we're awesome. Uh. Yeah, just finish this guy off. Yes, Commander. Or or not. Scored a critical hit. Or play with your food. Whatever you want to do. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. That panther. I don't know. Is he is he going now? Probably. Or not the panther, the wolfhound. Here he comes. Twenty nine, eh? Good thing I'm in the trees. Waiting for order. Duck. Finish this guy, please. Just finish him off. Thank you. Enemy down. All right, let's see if we can polish the three of these guys off this turn. Who's lo who's left? Everybody's left, right? Goofy's going next. Wait. Who's going next? Infiltrator. He's a traitor. All right, let's move over here. Dump a load on this guy, but in a good way, you know, like not a one of those lewd ways. Oof! Enjoy it, buddy. Who's next? That guy was supposed to go next, but I don't think he's going next now. Panther. Wait, did we are Oh yeah, we already went. Gondol. Okay, sure. Bustana. Hammer this guy. See ya. Infiltrator. He's an infiltrator. All weapons committed. Enemy mech destroyed. All right, sure. Good to go. Can you get into this fight? Oh, maybe. Tag, I think, right? Yeah. Eh. We had to take the shot. You have order? Yeah, I killed this son bitch. Lining up for the shot. Here it comes. There we go. Tango down. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Mission successful. Alright, contract payment increased by 25%. Bonus, 11,000. Uh, well, at least it'll cover whatever damage we took. I don't even know what it was. Hey, even kills. Nice. So, let's take... Uh, yeah, man. And I'm going to take two of these parts. And my reason for that is because if we get enough urban mech parts, I can make... I can use one to make one urban mech and one to make another and see if we can get some good crap off this, this thing. Heat dissipating armor, though. Oh, really... Really? We don't need it now, though. It's not like we're PPC capacitor. Oh, my God. <sighs> I have to think about the now. 
this gives us the chance to get those so let's go with that all right we got a wolf found part a locust part uh, a couple normal heat sinks we got the ppc capacitor blah blah blah, blah. bonus cockpits we can sell all right heavy rifle we can sell all right let's see what we got here i don't know what ten thousand well we <laughs> made a grand off this isn't that be just beautiful three days for repairs all right so uh let's have a look in the mech base real quick before this episode ends and see if we've got enough mech parts here uh where is that thing Am I just not seeing it here? Most likely the case. There it is there. So if we do... Um, we don't have enough parts for assembly. Did we use up all our... I guess we did. We used up all our parts. Oh, hey, parts is parts. Right. Well, okay. So we can't put one together. All right, no sweat. We'll have to uh, worry about that next time. Mongoose. Uh, we're going to be dropping this guy, I think, right? Most likely, yes. But that we'll do that when we're ready to go to another planet. Now, I think, if we're lucky, financial report in 14 days. Yeah, we should just be able to uh, get what we've got repaired and our pilots back. Dallas is out for two more days. Let's get her back. Okay. So I want her to run in the next mission here. And now let's see if we, our mech warriors have got any experience. And then we'll call it an episode. No one there. Nothing there for you. we got to get your gunner. Wait, how are we not? Oh, 566. Goofy. Yeah, man. Let's get your guts up. And Gundal. Uh, guts, probably. Yeah. Get your healing faster. We have enough points for anything? Nope. And Hellion, Commander. when you come back, you might have. I don't know. But I think Duck was a good uh, investment. It's uh, nice that we'll be able to get um, um, Sensor Lock relatively, well, not soon, but once we get his um, skills up across the board to four, we might just start saving up for, for getting that Sensor Lock because uh, that would be useful really early on. Um, and maybe we can turn this guy into an artillery pilot, which would be nice. All right, but I'm going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit long. I know we had a couple of missions, but maybe we can start pulling off a couple of missions every episode, which would be great now that we're not playing with large maps and extra lances and stuff. Um, yeah, so if you, like the, if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.